He's a baby. All right. He's a baby on the fluke. This is the silver bullet. There's a little school here, and I thought they were small, but I played with them for a second anyway. Bam. All right, guys. I sit down and ate a sandwich. Cut my, cut my GoPro off, and I forgot to cut it back on. Don't hold that against me. I got hungry. <laughs> I was there thinking, I'm hungry. I'm going to quit and go to the Mexican restaurant here in a minute. And I thought, so I got to drive right past it, guys, on the way back home. So when I do something like this, I just stop there and eat. And, uh, all right, guys, I'm back with you. That took a minute. I just cut that out. Just cut that time out. That's a nice fish, guys. Now, I caught the baby starting this thing on this silver bullet on a, on a fluke. I got a fluke on one rod, and I got this stinger. This is a full-size stinger. He pulled it a little crooked. I got it on the other one. Now, I got it on the 1 16th because it's got more body, right? Plus, the wind's been blowing, all right? And I've got the fluke on a 1 one thirty second. all right? The stinger. Now, I make this silver bullet in uh, a couple different body styles. It's in the swim fry swim bait. It's in the stinger. It's in the stinger junior. It's in the tadpole. Okay, shiner, fluke, all right, it's a good color, it's just a natural looking color, guys, it looks like a, look like a mensa, it's, I call it the silver bullet because I use a gray tint, you see the brush pile, I think I got a little close to it now, I, the wind was pushing me, <laughs> I was casting, I couldn't get my cast to do what it wanted to, so I pulled up to 30 feet, now my boat done swung around, it's like the wind's trying to come from this direction now, and it put me up on the, it's put me up really too close to him. Let's see what happens. I'm not going to move now. I'm just going to sit still. I done got here now, right? It's no use to move now. And let's see if I've been here. I've been here eating and everything, so maybe they got used to me being here. I don't know. I can see my bait right there. I just fell amongst them. Oh, I had a bite. Seen two come up at it. One of them, one of them nipped at it. He didn't grab it. He nipped at it. Bam. Got another one. Off the same brush pile. Bam. I'm pretty sure he was hooked good. He slammed it. <laughs> he, he rolled up and just slammed it. Now this is this one's on the fluke. Okay. He's about 10. He played 10 and 3 sixteenths. Alright guys, let's see if we can catch one or two more on this bait and we'll call it a day. I'm gonna try another one off this brush pile. Y'all can see it here. I got too close to it. Like I said, my boat's done spun around on it. The wind got me. That's why you need to be downwind, and the wind was going this way, right? When the wind spun around on me and started coming this way, it just brought my boat around on top of the top of the fish. While well, I was talking to y'all about the last fish I caught, and I came back up here, and I, went, I looked up here and went, oops, I'm on top of them now. Y'all probably heard me say that. Yeah, I, this is not, I'm, I don't usually don't get this close to them, but I'm better off now just to be still. If I move and run the trolling motor, it's running itself on spot lock, right? So hopefully they've gotten used to that a little bit. And uh, if, I, if I go move the boat, I think I'm just going to scare them more. So I'm just going to try and try to fish them. Fish for them while the boat's just close to them. And it is what it is, right? Guys, I just looked down and noticed I don't have my microphone plugged in. I'm sorry. Like I said, I stopped making lunch. I stopped making my sandwich right with me. Now everything just fell apart. <laughs> I cut my camera off, put a new battery in it, and I didn't cut it back on. Okay, that's on the fluke silver bullet. Okay, I caught a couple on the fluke. I think I've caught one on the uh, stinger. Bam, I caught another one, guys. I can't believe he uh, he hit it. I said, I'm, I'm this close to this brush pile. As y'all seen, I'm 20, 25 feet from it. And my boat's ch changing the direction a little bit. You see, the wind's beating me. I keep turning my back to the winds. I got the microphone in now, guys. I didn't notice I didn't have the microphone into the last fish. I'm sorry. I hope I got some video I can use. I'm going to tell you what, it doesn't take much wind, guys, to make it terrible. Uh, I was watching somebody the other day. That's a nice little fish, or 10, 10 and a half. That's on the fluke, silver bullet. I was watching somebody the other day, and they had so much wind noise in their video. I watched about, it was interesting what he was saying. I think that's why he went on and loaded it. 
because he had some good hits, some good in info. But the wind noise was so bad. And I watched some of it, and I finally got off of it. And uh, it happens. If you don't have a dead rabbit on your microphone, or if you don't have a microphone on your uh, GoPro, the wind could be awful, okay? So I appreciate y'all guys. This is the silver bullock, so I make it in a lot of different baits. Fry, shiner, fluke, stinger. Um, check it out. It's a great color. It's the top half of meal time. The meal time and LC shad, the top half is silver bullet, bottom half is pearl. It's just a natural looking silverish gray, guys. It's a it's a powder color I use to make it, all right? And it works it works just fine as you can see in this clear water. Water's about five foot visibility here today. Now I always mention the visibility of the water, I try to in every video. That gives y'all an idea, guys. If you got baits or if you're fishing on your lake and you go like, well, he don't make anything from my water, my water's usually three to five foot visibility. That's why I mention it. I do make stuff. I make more stuff for clear water or lightly stained water than I do really dark water. Some of the new colors coming up with the banana blast and some of those. Grenada bug is great for dirty water. Blue mist. I got the chartreuse and blacks with different tail colors, right? I got them with pink tail, uh, orange tail, all right? So I do have stuff for dirty water. Just look through there. And you'll find some stuff for catch dirt, fish in dirty water. Dennis, Fish in Lake Country. Check out lakecountrybaits.com. That's where you find these baits. I get asked that almost every week in a video. So I'm going to say, how can I buy your baits? So evidently I don't mention it enough, do I? Lakecountrybaits.com. Hey, guys. See ya.